Really? This is our title screen? Broken buildings against a blue sky with some sword and shield ass looking trees? Oh, yeah, like our flying lasts that long. The building's not over! Why do you say that like it surprises you? Don't you live in this apocalyptic world? Don't you see these kinds of things every day? I'm not supposed to be able to do this. What's the point of all this? It'll never end. Exactly what everyone said when they got to this point in the story. Sonic Team was like, what should our design for the villain be for the new Sonic game? We need something menacing, fresh, edgy. And this all the recolors on DeviantArt and said, perfect. You must eliminate the individual who has awakened Iblis. The Iblis trigger. If I eliminate that guy, will our world be saved? Silver, why are you even entertaining this guy's ideas? He sounds like a crazy person and has shown you no evidence that what he's saying is even remotely true. So that blue hedgehog's the Iblis trigger? Why is the T in that capitalized? It's mid-sentence. Also, that emerald didn't show you anything. That was just Sonic against a fiery background. He wasn't really doing anything. I see it! So that blue hedgehog's the Iblis trigger? Hedgehog. Why is Blaze lost in thought here? It's never made clear whether or not this is the same Blaze as the one in Rush, or whether or not this Blaze even knows Sonic. They never interact with each other, so what was the point of her maybe remembering? Wow, what an effect. One second you're there, the next second they just move the models off camera. Where am I? Blaze? Please. Yeah, why did all three of them go to different locations when Nephilus brought them to the present? I what the hell is Silver doing? I hope Silver is okay. He's pretty insecure when he's alone. Maybe it has something to do with his best friend pointing out his character flaws behind his back. Did, did they just get stuck on the side of the checkpoint? Transmission from HQ. There's an SOS coming from Dr. Eggman's base. Shadow works for Gun now? Look, just because you buried the hatchet doesn't mean you have to be okay with them now. They still killed your best friend and kept you locked up for 50 years. Why do I get stuck on the walls as Rouge? Like, to this day, I don't know what causes it or what fixes it. It just sort of resolves. Shadow, why you? It's a request for the Wait, the agent that we're here to rescue is Rouge? I thought she, and I quote, was going to give up this line of work. I probably should have brought that up in my Shadow the Hedgehog video too, but it wasn't as clear that she was still with Gun there, whereas here it's a huge part of both Shadow and Rouge's part in the story. Okay, so here we're given two pretty distinct objectives. Shadow says he needs to break the searchlights, but the narrator says we need to destroy the searchlight pillars, which, yes, would also destroy the searchlights themselves, but you would think, given those instructions, that the searchlights are the important part, not the pillars. And then the narrator says that we need to destroy five searchlights to open the door to the outside. So I'm on my merry way to destroying the searchlights on foot because it's much faster and a lot easier than taking the buggy, only to find out that the game doesn't register the searchlights as destroyed unless I take out the pillars. But what's the difference? Why even allow me to destroy the searchlights on their own then? So Shadow says that, and you would think that that implies that you can attack the Egg Cerberus directly now, not having to grind on its back anymore, but. Nope, that does no damage. There's no point to the armor breaking. Ah, Soliana, the city of water. It has a constitutional monarchy, you know. The primary industries are tourism and crafting precision machinery. Tourism? For what? There's nothing to see in Soliana. The current sovereign is Princess Elise the Third. Well, wouldn't she be a queen if she's the current sovereign? Why does Eggman's base lead to an odd place like this? That is a legitimate question that is never answered. I have a little favor to ask of you. Could you escort me to the G-U-N rendezvous point? G-U-N? Yeah, I know those are the letters, but we've never pronounced it like that. It's always been gun. We interrupt Sonic 06 to bring you the latest Final Fantasy game. A pleasure to meet you at last, Princess of Soliana. Wow, that's a pretty snazzy performance there. <gasps> You're right, because it isn't. Also, how does Elise even know what Silver looks like? I'm Sonic! Sonic the Hedgehog! Roll credits. 
So, did everyone just leave? Because the town was filled with people celebrating the Festival of the Sun, but Eggman just showed up like a minute ago. Wouldn't we still be seeing at least a few people? I know that Elise is wearing pantyhose, but her legs are so shiny that it looks like both of her legs are prosthetic. And that they both got a tan. Huh. How the hell did Eggman sneak up on you? His mechs aren't necessarily quiet. I finally found him. The Iblis Trigger. Why did you say that again? Didn't you say the exact same thing before Eggman kidnapped Elise? Now I've got, now I've got you, Sonic! Hey! Amy... <sighs> You know, Shadow, I kinda get. They have a similar body type and clothes that could be mistaken under the right light, but Silver's got boots and a pot leaf head. Um, hey, you're not Sonic. Um, I'm sorry. Did you just slap him? Because you made a mistake? And then immediately apologized not for the slapping, but for the mistaking him for someone else? Tails, long time no see. I heard that you tried to save their princess from Dr. Eggman. Tails' mouth moved a total of, like, once during that whole exchange. Jesus Christ, this f***ing load screen is long. <laughs> What? That was it? You needed a load screen for that? We interrupt Sonic 06 to bring you Superman 64. Oh my god, there's another load screen just for the results screen? And another one just to return to the hub world! And that happens every time you go into a town mission? Hey. Why does this guy never stop talking? Like, jeez, yes, my guy, I understand you sell things. Hey, Wave Ocean, Emerald Coast called, it wants its everything back. Thank you, Tails, you saved me. Uh, did the game free? Oh, uh, okay. Why does that take so long to happen? The mod speed section suck. There's no stopping no matter what. You can't correct your position mid-air, so jumping has to be kept to a minimum. If you hit anything, you better pray there's more road to run on, otherwise you'll run into a never-ending animation loop of Sonic getting hit, which will result in a death, and worst of all, you never know what's coming the first time, so pretty much inevitably you're going to die, meaning you have to do the entire mock speed section again once you do. Oh, f you like that's fair how was i supposed to know that i would fall off the side it's an automatic loop okay so something you might have noticed by now is that i'm tackling the story in chronological order or at least in a chronological order that makes sense but this is the first level you'd play when you boot up the game for the first time and if you get a game over which mind you is very possible to do given the mock speed sections you have to start the game from the beginning and i'm not talking the beginning of wave ocean no i'm talking the very first cutscene of the game meaning you have to do everything all over again which just means you're gonna have to sit through all all those long ass loading screens again just to get another shot at doing wave ocean and i know what you're thinking well that's stupid doesn't this game have an autosave feature no no it doesn't this 2006 playstation 3 xbox 360 game doesn't have an autosave feature sonic 3 and knuckles on the genesis had a fucking autosave feature and that was 1994 It looks like the princess was moved to another location. Does it, Tails? Does it look like Eggman and his giant goddamn battleship, which Elise is currently on, has moved somewhere else, when all we've been doing is chasing it? Because it's moving? Let's head back to the city. What the hell is the point in going back to the city? That's the opposite direction Eggman and Elise are going. I need an anti-gravity chip to fucking slide? And moreover, didn't the lightspeed dash sort of become part of Sonic's natural moveset by heroes? Why do I need not only a special chip, but special shoes in order to do it? And speaking of a slide, why can't we travel 40 miles with it? So, we can't unlock the mirror to Sonic's dusty desert until we rescue this little girl from this rooftop, but according to her, she got up here by choice, meaning she must have done it somewhat safely, so why do we have to get her down? Why doesn't she just come down the same way she got up here? And don't tell me she used a spring to get up here like we did, she's human, if the spring didn't kill her, the fall on the way down did.
How long is this gonna go on? You shut the f up because I've still got ten and a half hours of this shit to sit through, and that's not counting all the loading screens. Okay, you be careful, Tails. Ah, that's some quality dubbing right there. He had like two weeks worth of dialogue that you condensed in two sentences. Not that the homing attack makes much sense on its own, but doesn't it seem counterintuitive to be able to do it while holding someone? Why the f does Sonic need a slide when Silver can just walk through the gap? Oh no! Did, did Amy just spawn in already dead? This game has spirits that you have to help move on to the afterlife, and yeah, there have been ghosts in Sonic games before, but never any that straight up look like humans. Hmm. Ah yes, Amy's classic ability of being able to turn invisible. When the f has Amy ever been able to do this? Also, why is her Pico Pico hammer almost like a normal sized hammer in this game? It's so tiny and its range is awful! So, I've never had an issue with a ball puzzle in this game. In fact, I got it on my first try, but this one goes out to everyone who does have issues with it. F this puzzle! But if you don't want to have to deal with it, there is a thing you can do that you're not supposed to. We interrupt Sonic 06 to bring you the Windows XP desktop background. You're hurt. It's nothing. Don't say that. No, literally, it's nothing. I don't think he even got hurt. Your smile. That's all I need. Is this what my girlfriend hangs out with her friend Steve? Because I have the virgin walk while Sonic has the Chad stride. Eggman mentioned the flames of disaster. Is that why he's after you? Motherfucker, he said it was! You were there! Sonic! Sonic! Wait! I can't run that fast! Don't worry! Just raise your head and run! No, Sonic, I don't think you understand. You run so fast, you could physically rip her arm off. Nothing starts until you take action. If you have time to worry, then run! That is awful advice! You're basically saying, what, you got issues? Whatever, who cares? Don't worry about it, just run away from them. What the f is Chaos Smash? That's not even in the game! Where did we get this glider? Why don't we just hang on to Rouge while she flies us to the extraction point? It looks like we need to find three keys to move. You will need to collect three keys to open the door ahead. Yeah, I got that, narrator. Rouge literally just said we were gonna need three keys. No need to repeat it. Uh, what? You know what game everyone loved? Shadow the Hedgehog. And you know what elements of that game people enjoyed? The vehicles. But people like the guns too, so why don't we add vehicles that have guns in them? You know, Eggman, you had way more than enough time to tell your robots to grab the scepter before it fell to the ground. You have no one to blame but yourself. Mephilus. Who is he? <laughs> okay, I guess this is a film noir now. F this fight, f this fight, f this fight. Hey! Why is it just the word hey with no punctuation? Ha! Ha! <laughs> Is this a joke? How could someone like you cause the destruction of our world? Well, first off, you attacked him when his guard was down, so kind of a dick move. But second, he beat your ass! For the sake of the future, the Iblis trigger must be destroyed. Ah! Elise? Wait! God damn it, didn't I just save you? Ha! Ugh. Don't you dare turn your back on me! It's time I finally put an end to this! Stop! Amy? Where was Amy? She was literally with Silver the moment he spotted Sonic. Didn't she hear all the commotion when they met? Where did she run off to? He's responsible for destroying my world! That's crazy! Sonic would never do that! But it's true! Based on what, idiot? An edgy gif of Sonic you saw inside a Jolly Rancher? If I had to choose between the world and Sonic, I would choose Sonic! You crazy bitch! Look at this normal ass dog compared to the freak of absolute nature that is Sonic the Hedgehog. Speaking of dogs, find Pele the beloved dog is probably the stupidest town mission in the entire game. Come get your fucking dog on your own, Pinto! Two of the soldiers might lie to me? Well, are you one of them? Hey. Hey. You stupid son of a bitch! I am trying to rescue your sovereign, you clown! 
I don't have the goddamn time to play these stupid little games, you c**t! What is the matter with you? It's time to do, 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 do. We interrupt Sonic 06 to bring you Pokemon the first movie. He's pretty cocky. It's most definitely a trap. I don't think Eggman will honor his agreement. No! Really? You think? I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Uh... Knuckles? Yeah, no, I don't think you're supposed to be able to turn around and go up during a snowboarding section. Or do this. Also, Ice Cap called and wanted to- yeah, okay. I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Where's Elise? My, aren't we impatient. Sonic! Wait, what? You just reached over to your left and grabbed her, but as we can see, there's an entire room to your left and Elise is nowhere to be seen. Place it there. Isn't this the same thing they did in Adventure 2 when Eggman sent Sonic out into space and the capsule had exploded? <laughs> really? You couldn't have asked Mike Pollock for a longer laugh instead of cutting his laugh in half? They've just been teleported by my glorious invention to another time. Who knows where they'll end up? Don't you mean when they'll end up? Since he's after Dr. Eggman, let's sneak into Eggman's base. How would you even know where Eggman's base is? Do you even know who Dr. Eggman is? Isn't that the Chaos Emerald that Eggman just got from Sonic? Didn't he say he needed the Chaos Emeralds for his plan? Why did he give the Emerald to the Egg Genesis? Prisoner has escaped from cell block C-17. How did Elise manage to escape her cell? It kind of looks like she just opened the door. And if that's the case, that's the shittiest cell I've ever seen. No, that's not possible. We're still in the doctor's base. You mean you're back at the doctor's base? Because Mephilus teleported you from the old Soliana castle in Kingdom Valley, not Eggman's base in White Acropolis. Tails can fly, Knuckles can glide, and yet Sonic's the only one that landed on his feet? Oh, look who's here. I didn't expect to see you guys. Well, isn't that a coincidence? Seriously, what are the goddamn odds that both these group of characters got sent into the distant future by different characters to the exact same point in time down to the very day? Hi, long time no see. It feels like every little moment in your life is huge, doesn't it? Are those sparkles meant to make Amy look cute? Cause she still looks horrifying. That guy's the lucky one. I also have someone that I'm pursuing too. I wish us both luck. Has Amy not heard that Sonic's been the one saving Elise? Cause I feel like everyone in town knows that by now and Amy somehow remained oblivious to that fact. I see. You mean using your chaos control will... Yes, but that alone is insufficient. Who was the asshole who directed that camera movement and was like, yeah, that looks good. Did those buildings just randomly explode? Why did those buildings just randomly explode? Cool, I'm stuck on this fucking rail! Dude, hello points. And the same building explodes in Sonic's version too. Why is this building just randomly exploding? Okay, so not only did Mephilus and Eggman separately and randomly transport our heroes to the same time in the distant future, they also happen to end up around the same time that Silver and Blaze's adventures start. Seriously, what are the odds? According to the data, the princess died when she was kidnapped by Eggman. Apparently, Eggman's battleship exploded. The date of this incident was two days after the Festival of the Sun. If we don't return in time, Elise will die on board Eggman's battleship. What do you mean if you don't return in time? I hate to break it to you, Sonic, but Elise and Eggman died 200 years ago. You kind of don't have a time limit right now. Not to mention, if you guys do find a way back, that means you have the power to time travel, meaning none of this should mean anything to you. You can just go back in time as many times as you want. You guys are so slow. Look. 
A Chaos Emerald! You've already found one! Yes, Tails, thank you for once again pointing out the obvious. Also, yeah, where did you find that emerald? You kind of just had it in the last cutscene. I received a signal indicating there's a Chaos Emerald here, but... You mean we've got to go through there? If you don't like it, you can stay here. You've got to be kidding. Did they just use that shitty turning animation for Knuckles twice in the same scene? Don't be late. What do you mean, don't be late? Aren't you guys heading to the same place at the same time? Like, I know you're not gonna be holding hands, but... Uh, yeah, no, I don't think that's how gravity works. All right. It's raining fire! Sonic the Hedgehog, fastest thing alive, also Satan. Cool, so that stupid stuck on walls thing also happens with Knuckles, and you would think that if it happens with more than one character that they try to fix it, but nope. Who was the dickhead that was like, let's put a fire spout in front of a dash pad, which you can't avoid, meaning that nine times out of ten, you're gonna get hit by the fire when you get to this part. I'm sorry, does Knuckles just T-pose when going through a rainbow ring? I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Or who knows, maybe I am supposed to be able to do that, considering I can do the exact same thing with Rouge. So we've established that this is after Silver and Blaze fight Iblis at the beginning of Silver's story, meaning that the big Iblis they fought has reverted into a sort of larva. So couldn't Silver just get rid of Iblis by defeating the baby form? Chaos Control! Wait, so all you need to create a time travel portal is have two people induce a Chaos Control? Since when? You guys did that in Adventure 2 and all that happened was you teleported the Ark, you didn't travel through time. Excuse me, what does that say? Daily Soriana? Also, who took these photos? Didn't the city evacuate the moment Eggman showed up? There didn't seem to be any people left. It doesn't leave about restoration expecting it. The f does that mean? What? Was that supposed to be a vent or something? How'd I end up here? Shadow. Shadow. Shadow? And he doesn't have a Chaos Emerald anymore. Wait, why did the Chaos Emerald go through the portal to begin with? When did Shadow not only let go of the Emerald, but throw it through the portal for it to have ended up with Rouge? Also, Rouge went through the portal not long after Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles did, and if they got caught up looking at that newspaper, she would have at least bumped into him. Agent Rouge, report your status immediately. Have you retrieved the Book of Darkness? Book of Darkness? Not only is that different from what the subtitles say, but my dude, does this thing look like a book? Right now, I have a priority situation to deal with. I need to contact E123 Omega immediately. Uh, breaking the fourth wall. Why is she looking at the camera? Uh... Hi, long time no see. So, decided to void your return ticket now, did you? Why are you here? Did you ruin this world? The answer is yes and no. No, it's pretty much only yes. Just because Shadow got blamed for it doesn't mean you didn't do it. Dance, my shadows. Dance! Suddenly Danax from Kingdom Hearts 2. Agent Shadow, we've lost contact with Agent Rouge. Head to the warehouse district immediately. How the hell did you lose contact with Rouge? She's right at the warehouse. Have you even tried contacting her again? Why would you think she's there to begin with? Uh, Shadow? Well, that's just rude. So, I think I may have caused a black car to crash because I spun out and even after that, no one caught up to me. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that. This is Rouge. G-U-N-H-Q? See? You can contact her here. Why was Gun saying they lost all contact with her? Yes. Pull all available data on an item called the Scepter of Darkness for me. For what? Weren't you as an agent sent to retrieve it already briefed on all the information they had to begin with? Tell me. Who is the Iblis Trigger? Why does he want to destroy the world? Why does that matter to you? Uh, because he might be trying to kill an innocent person that has nothing to do with what he thinks? Why do I have to buy the Heart of Wind to advance to the next part? 
I can get past the guards on the way to the train station without it. You got kidnapped again? God damn it, didn't Amy technically just save you? There's no other way ahead. I guess I've got to break down the door. Question, why can't I just use my ESP powers to break down that seemingly frail wooden door? So, something really weird happens if you reach this part of the level with Shadow and aren't riding a bike. You sort of just freeze in place for a couple of seconds, unable to move. That doesn't happen if you're already on a bike, though. Wouldn't the door have been easier? Yeah, maybe, if you weren't on a fucking moving train! When you capture Mephilus, you must bring him to me. Then I'll tell you the truth about Solaris. Did you just agree to that? Why would you trust this idiot? We just rescued you! And guess what? You have to watch that cutscene three separate times. And yeah, I know, it's because all three characters are in this cutscene, but that just means you have to watch at least get kidnapped again three separate times. What's the point of being able to grab Shadow with Silver's ESP if you can't throw him? Chaos control! Was... Was Silver really about to just punch Shadow in the face? You have psychokinesis, you idiot! Chaos control! Chaos, chaos control! Oh, son of a bitch! Did Silver just chaos control? Never mind that he's only ever seen Shadow do it once! I'm not even sure Silver knows what chaos control does, let alone how to use it! To discover what happened, it seems we must see what took place ten years ago. Follow me if you want the truth. Wait, so how does time travel work? Because you just made a portal on complete accident and yet you were super confident that it would take you ten years into the past. Do you just decide when you go through the portal? Or do you have to know what you want when making the portal? Hell, it's clearly not the latter considering you made the portal an accident and still managed to go when you wanted. My lord, it's too late! We've got to take shelter! Did four kids not have any money left after hiring Lacey Chabert that they had to recycle Dan Green as Knuckles not only for the main bad guy, but for this guy, too? Normally, I don't knock voice acting because whatever, I get it, but here, all three of those characters sound exactly the same. They're escaping! We'll have to split up. I'll pursue Mephilus. Okay, then leave Iblis to me. Nah, really? Who else would you have gone after? He was the only one left! Okay, so using the Chaos Boost sucks ass because you can't homing attack chain while using it. You just fall, making it less useful than just being normal Shadow. Chaos Control! Okay, so if I may recap, Chaos Control seems to be able to do a multitude of things. It can teleport people, it can slow down time, freeze time completely, cause time travel, and now it can also apparently seal the embodiment of darkness itself. Your death, certain. Die. Well, apparently not, because he's still locked up 200 years later. Did Shadow really just let the Scepter of Darkness fall onto the floor? Does he not remember what happened last time that thing hit the ground? Shadow, I'll be looking out for the truth. What do you mean you'll be looking out for it? Didn't you see Iblis and Mephilus separate from each other? Let me get this straight. When Mephilus tells you that Sonic is responsible for the destruction of your world, you don't bat an eye and just trust him, but when Shadow straight up shows you that Mephilus isn't what you think he is, you still have to be convinced? Okay, admittedly these ball sections aren't the worst, but they're still way more trouble than they're worth, and I don't know anybody who likes them. Hey! What are you doing? How are you even still alive? You are at the epicenter of an explosion! Of a sun god! Remember, be brave. Don't cry, no matter what happens. Otherwise, your tears will call forth the flames inside you. Wait, you mean to tell me that when you said don't cry, you meant it literally? You expect me to believe that this seven-year-old girl hasn't shed a tear for ten years? And speaking of which, what constitutes tears in this scenario? What if she laughs until she cries? Is she allowed to yawn? What about dust? It's not her goddamn fault if dust gets in her eyes! What are the rules, damn it!
You're going to leave it behind? Yes. I already know what becomes of it in the future. Yeah, it breaks! That's exactly why you should take it with you! That way, Mephilus won't be around in the present because the Scepter of Darkness won't even exist for the past ten years! Oh yeah, your dad just died! Are you telling me that this child didn't cry when she found out her father died while protecting her? It's a lucky charm. Excuse me! Are you telling me that Princess Elise III, Sovereign of Soliana, has been in possession of the Blue Chaos Emerald for the past 10 years? Because that's impossible! Unless there are two Blue Chaos Emeralds, how did Sonic fight Perfect Chaos? How did Sonic and Shadow fight the Final Hazard? How did Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles fight Metal Overlord? How did Shadow fight Devil Doom? I'm sorry, I guess they were just eight Chaos Emeralds this whole time! And then, in Shadow's version of this cutscene, Silver doesn't even give Elise the Emerald! And yeah, I know that Shadow doesn't witness him do it, but in that case, why not just cut the scene before Silver jumps through the portal? Farewell. No, no! We clearly saw that she dove head first, meaning that there's no way Sonic would be able to catch her so easily. Elise should be dead! You think you can intimidate me with just your size? Come on, let's see what you can do! You know, I overheard my girlfriend say the same thing to her friend Steve, but there's no way it was in the same context as this, so now I'm confused. I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Green Jungle called it says, Alright, I don't like this look Elise is giving Sonic. I, I don't... I don't like it. What the hell happened to this person? Was she a victim of Solaris exploding too? Uh, okay. Cool, what was the point of Tails following the Egg Carrier? Omega is still in pursuit of Mephilus. So, where's the kid? What kid? Silver? How did you even know we were doing stuff with him? As far as you knew, we were chasing after Eggman. So, where's the kid? What did you find ten years ago? How did you know we went into the past? That was a spur of the moment accident! I need you to access GUN's database. Specifically, find out what materials the Scepter of Darkness was made from. Sure. But you haven't answered my question yet. I found the means to seal Mephilus. What do you mean you found the means? You had the means! You saw the Scepter of Darkness break and Mephilus escape! You knew what you needed, you idiot! <gasps> Candles are everywhere, you know, but I have no idea where to find the Candle of Darkness. And the priest's prayers? What is that? Um, a priest praying? I I honestly don't know how to make it clearer than that. I'm on a boring assignment today. I have to test people to see if they have what it takes to be an agent. Yeah, it's that test you took years ago. Years ago? Shadow's been a gun agent for years? As in plural? <laughs> That's it? Good. That's all I need to make a scepter of darkness? Did they? Did they fucking leave an outtake in the game? Oh, hold on, if I press up against a wall and spam the hover button, I hover up? I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Blaze. What did you see? What did he see where? How do you know where he was? The Iblis Trigger wasn't Sonic the Hedgehog. No, he was, just not in the way you think. In fact, you saying that kind of leads me to believe you haven't learned anything. I see. Crowd of people noise? I don't understand. Is it describing the type of noise or is the word noise a verb? Either way, they both sound wrong. I heard that the princess here left for Dr. Eggman's base in response to his earlier threat. She got kidnapped again? Shit! What are you trying to do, Dr. Eggman? Why do you wish to revive the flames of disaster? Are you fucking serious? He already told you! World domination! What other reason do you need? 
Okay, so you might have noticed this little meter in the bottom right corner of the screen. It limits Silver's ESP powers as well as Sonic and Elise's shield, and it quantifies Shadow's Chaos Boost energy. But Sonic still has it even when Elise isn't around, and that's because you can purchase these special gems that go on Sonic's shoes that grant him special abilities, depending on the gem. But the thing is, the programmers of this game were f***ing morons and didn't code Sonic's meter correctly, meaning that Sonic's gem abilities have no limit. The meter never drains, so you can use the gem abilities for as long as you want, and that breaks the game completely, because you can use the red gem to slow down time indefinitely, or the purple gem to jump indefinitely. You can do things that you're not meant to do, because the only character that they didn't code the meter for is the one that shares his name with the f***ing game! How does Sonic's self-proclaimed biggest fan not recognize him? Cool, so if you try to use a spring while slowing down time, I guess it just doesn't work? Or I just hit the spring wrong? Who really knows? So, I don't show it because Amy's the quicker choice, but you have to choose between Amy or Elise, but if you choose Elise, why don't we just keep Elise with us? Aren't we heading to Kingdom Valley precisely to go get Elise? Not to mention, what the hell is the point of this as a trial, let alone as a mission? Neither choice matters anyway. Was incredible! I barely got the S rank for that? I did that in under five seconds! How fast do they expect you to do that? It's not even like I can get rings to boost my rank, at least not to my knowledge. Hey. Wait, we needed to do those trials so that an eagle could carry us over to the mirror to Kingdom Valley? Why didn't Tails just carry us over there? That dumb bastard's already here! Ah yes, Sonic 06, the game that asks you to, and I quote, capture the six children within the time limit. Again, I feel the need to ask, what was the point of the trials if Silver can just fly over to the mirror? What, are the people in charge going to say no to the psychokinetic three-foot hedgehog? Okay, so I know I explained why the mock speed sections suck, but this one in particular is awful because I can't see dick! And if I get hit, I have to do this section all over again, and if I can't see enough dick, I have to do this whole level all over again! I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Why? Just randomly? Because, I mean, no one's done anything to the engines. Also, couldn't you just evacuate? You have that Eggmobile that you've been using to kidnap police. Why not just take that and abandon ship? If we return to an earlier point in time, we'll be able to save her. I understand. Okay, so I was wondering what happened to this emerald, because it's the one that the Duke uses to seal Iblis and Elise, but we never see him give the emerald to Silver, so I thought he just left it in the past. Chaos Control! How do either of them know that the other knows how to do this? They never saw each other do it, and Silver literally just learned how to do the Chaos Control earlier today. The battleship will take off any minute. Tails, Knuckles, let's hurry! Wait, you met up with Tails and Knuckles? At what point? That would have been nice to see. Also, what is nice to see is that Aquatic Base has had no changes in the past 10 years, because it looks the same as when we came here with Shadow and Silver. Discount Egg Viper. Seriously, the lasers, the fighting on floating grates, it being the final boss in Sonic's story, hell, Eggman even says, I can't believe this! When you beat him. Speaking of beating him, if you throw the Sky Gem a few seconds before you grab onto the horn, you'll be pulled back onto the platforms and get an early win. You don't even really have to damage the cockpit. I'm not supposed to be able to do this. That's not what that means, Elise. It's a metaphor for evading your problems, but he's taking action by literally running. Yeah, no, both of you should be dead! Also, you know what I just realized? Where did the piece of cloth that Elise put on Sonic's arm go? Nice, By the time they go back to Castletown, it's just gone. Actually, looking back, where did that piece of cloth even come from? Nice smile. Wait, that's how he winks? 
He has one eyeball, but two separate eyelids? <laughs> Ew, no, don't wink at each other. I'll make sure to change Elisa's fate. And that, in turn, should change your future, too. You know, I never thought about it, but Silver never introduced Blaze to Sonic. Thanks, She's just kind of Silver. there. They never have an exchange. In just fact, Silver. I'm pretty sure Blaze never talks to anyone but Silver in this game. Like, yeah, she speaks in the presence of Mephilus, but that's more her reacting to something Silver said. She never once directs a word to anyone but him. Okay, so the portal does take you to where you want to go when you go through it, but then how does that work? Did Silver and Blaze just think, take me to 200 years from now? Is this exactly 200 years in the future? I'm still unclear on how the rules work. I know how to save our world now. We don't have to change the past. But wouldn't that be easier? You go back to when the Solaris project was being worked on and you shut that down so that Solaris never splits in two? I got a 32,000 point time bonus? That's over halfway to an S rank! Easy. That stage took me 14 minutes! How long do they expect you to take on this level? So the bio lizard called and said it wants its high and low energy attacks back. Eternal Sun! The living flame that has been entrusted to the royal family! Fall into slumber with my soul, Iblis! You cursed flames of disaster! I won't it accept me as the vessel. Because you're not royalty, pothead! Did you learn nothing from your trip to the past? Come on, make it quick. Use your chaos control to stop time, then steal it into a different dimension. Wait, chaos control can do that too? Also, what would that accomplish? You're just taking Iblis to a different world. How long until he destroys that one too? You might as well keep him here. I don't understand. Being that she's royalty and that she can already control fire, shouldn't Blaze be able to contain Iblis perfectly fine? I mean, hell, Elise did it perfectly for 10 years and all she had to do was not cry. Blaze barely shows any emotion at all. Why'd she feel the need to seal herself in another dimension? Lord Regis's daughter, and no, I'm not going to dignify her by calling her by her actual name. What the hell happened here? Wait, you put explosive boxes as obstacles on your motorcycle driver's license test? So it's either get the license or die? His movement shows he's seeking any Chaos Emerald he can find. Supposedly, he needs one in order to join with Iblis again. But he's had the purple one since the start of the game. Why would he go looking for another one? Did you just interrupt yourself mid-sentence, Omega? Hell put a space between the I and the T in the word it's. You had one job! The I of now absorbed your power through your shadow in the past. What may have worked ten years ago no longer does. And that's exactly why you should have brought the Scepter of Darkness into the present with you! Wait, how'd you get the green Chaos Emerald? Shadow never let go of it, as far as I know. You must realize now that you can. Did they really have to animate his mouth? I mean, it hasn't been animated this whole time. I still would have understood that it's the one in the middle that's talking. If the world chooses to become my enemy, I will fight like I always have. Suddenly, Sonic X. Also, how did you take those things off? I mean, they kind of just fell to the ground, but they still look like a full ring, meaning you must have slipped them off your wrist, but your hands are way too big for you to have done that. Ah. Wow, at least that was the most delayed response to anything I think I've ever seen. Sonic! Sonic! 
Well, it's only fitting that this would be the game to kill Sonic the Hedgehog. Also, they killed Sonic the Hedgehog! No! <laughs> Finally, the seal is broken. Wait, that was your plan? Kill Sonic so that Elise would cry and break Iblis' seal? That's convoluted as f***! Not to mention, motherfucker, you control time! Why not go back to when you both separated the first time? Yeah, Shadow and Silver were there, but what was Shadow gonna do? Seal both Mephiluses? M Mephilusi? You could've just joined with Iblis then! Or hell, you were already in the future and already had Silver doing your bidding for you. Just have him beat the shit out of Iblis until he reverts back to his baby form and join with him then! And I mean, damn, didn't the Flint of Disaster originally get released after Elise died on board the Egg Carrier? Elise was going to die one day anyway, why not just go to that point in time and join with him then? Why did you go to all this trouble just to kill Sonic? So, I've neglected mentioning it until now, but this game brought back using motion capture for the cutscenes, and I get it when it comes to the human characters, but they also do it for the Sonic characters who look awkward as hell, and this is the worst example of it. And it's weird because there are three different kinds of cutscenes in this game. The in-engine cutscenes with the ugly models and the laughable motion capture, the beautiful pre-rendered CGI cutscenes at the beginning of each character's story which are animated without mocap and look better because of it, and then there's this weird in-between where the cutscenes are pre-rendered but are still using the in-game models and therefore the mocap and it just looks weird. But then there's this cutscene where the models are higher poly than the in-game models and it's pre-rendered so it looks nicer, but for some reason the characters are still animated through mocap, making their movements look hokey as shit, and I don't get why they did that. The last time they used mocap was Adventure 2, and even then it didn't look as awkward as it does now. They animated it themselves in Heroes in Shadow, why'd they bring it back? Silver? What are you doing here? This is all so confusing. Yeah, I agree with everything Silver just said. What are they doing here? Why just them and no one else? Solaris! This creature will consume all existing timelines, and time itself will collapse and disappear into nothingness. The instability of time caused this time-space rift. But shouldn't that mean that Blaze should be here too? I mean, it is a time-space rift, and she was kind of important to the story. Certainly more important than Knuckles, and he's here. We've no time to waste! We've got to defeat it now! No, it is a transcendent life form that exists in the past, present, and future. Defeating it here, now, would do nothing. No, I won't give up. There has to be a way. If you say it exists in the past, present, and future, I'll destroy them all at once! Silver, I don't think you understand how time works. Past, present, and future aren't exact points in time. There's always more past in the past and more future in the future. <laughs> so, what's the matter? I feel Sonic's presence in the wind. Oh, bullshit. No, you don't. I don't think he's dead yet. I'm sure of it. It's not too late. Well, it just so happens that your friend here is only mostly dead. There's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead. Of course. Let's call him back with the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Since when the f have the Chaos Emeralds been able to bring someone back from the dead? Gee, Joe Robotnik sure missed the boat on that one, huh? You can do it, princess. I can? You were the vessel that was used to seal Iblis. You should be able to use the gem's power to rescue Sonic's soul. That makes absolutely no sense, because one thing has absolutely nothing to do with the other. Solaris flung the Chaos Emeralds to the distant corners of this distorted world. And by distant corners of this distorted world, you mean the confines of Soliana? Because that's as far as we go, and I doubt Solaris is affecting just Soliana. Watch out. I mean, I don't know why Knuckles turned around. Eggman did say it was in the corners of the world, and everyone kind of seems to be going in the same general direction. Item of flight. Uh, how'd I do that? You have given me so many things. Like what? A field day, some exercise, and a terrible piece of advice? Sonic, come back. To me. To us. Did 
you just... Why are you... Does this count as necro-bestiality? Honestly, I don't know which one of the two bothers me more. Regardless, shouldn't Amy be losing her shit right now? Like, not only is the dude that Elise is attracted to and that she herself encouraged her to pursue and kill me because I'm about to say it, Sonic, but she just kissed him, or rather, his corpse. Oh, so you can do that. Huh. I can't believe this game did something right that Sonic Heroes did wrong. But then again, Elise did kiss a dead animal, so... I'm sorry, is Solaris' sound effect just a slowed down wolf? Is it impossible to defeat a super dimensional being after all? No, something's different. I can feel a large, powerful consciousness coming from Solaris. What? A consciousness? That's it! That's his core! It's on you, Shadow! Even if we can't stop his form, we can stop, stop his consciousness! Look, it's there's a strange thing in the middle of Solaris! I'll take care of this! Oh, I wonder, could the giant glowing f me orb in the middle of the super dimensional beast possibly be the core and therefore the thing I need to attack? Did you destroy it? No. That is the true Solaris. You know, as opposed to the fake Solaris we fought? If we put out this flame, Solaris will never exist. And then we'll never have to worry about the flames of disaster, right? I mean, I guess? Who's to say that time itself won't collapse if Solaris is gone? Maybe he just won't exist from this moment on? But our encounter... You and I will never meet. It will never have happened. I... To tell the truth... I don't care what happens to the world! What the f*** is the matter with you?! You're choosing knowing someone you met literally a day ago over the potential lives of billions of people?! So, none of this ever happened? <sighs> is... is this supposed to be the Festival of the Sun? Why? Wasn't the whole point of the festival to appease Solaris? If Solaris never existed, what the hell are they celebrating? Also, wouldn't that mean that everything that happened due to Solaris never happened? For example, the Duke of Soliana wouldn't be dead unless he died due to some other reason, and Silver's future isn't f***ed up, meaning there's no reason for Blaze to go to another dimension because Iblis doesn't exist anymore. Miss Elise? It felt like someone was calling me. I'm sure it's just the wind. Of course. But it felt so... Familiar somehow. No, it didn't. Okay, so every episode has its own credits, and you know, that's fine, I'm used to that in Sonic games, but in every single version, including the last episode, after the main theme of the character you played as, you have to listen to the same version of his world. And don't get me wrong, I like his world, I think it's a good song, but there were three different versions of it when this game came out, and they still played the same one on all four credit sequences. Four hundred and sixty-five. Four hundred and sixty-five loading screens. Oh yeah, I counted them. 
465. And that's just the ones you have to see, not including any missions you fail, any unnecessary times you go from one hub world to another. This is assuming you do everything in the game perfect. Perfect. And you want to know how long the loading screens are together? Oh yeah, I did that too. One hour, 58 minutes, and 34 seconds. That's almost two hours of nothing. That's almost two goddamn collective hours of waiting for something to happen. And you are a fucking idiot if you thought for a second that I wasn't going to count each and every single godforsaken load screen and add them to the counter. Remember, you wanted this. You asked for this. And now, daddy's delivering, so sit back and enjoy. Charai 5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Sonic 06. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month or hit that join button. For those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Sonic Forces? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Charai 5. 